What's up everybody? My name is Hong Nguyen. Welcome to Golden Nugget Book Review. So what I do in these videos is that I extract one golden nugget, idea, key concept from a book and I share it with you guys in the video under five minutes. So today's book is called Crushing It uh, by Gary V, Gary uh, Vaynerchuk. You guys must know him by now. He's all over the place uh, on social media. Uh, I personally like him a lot. I didn't feel that way at the beginning though. I felt he was, wow, this guy's kind of loud and shit, right? Uh, expressing himself and, you know, having these really uh, strong opinions. But then the more you listen to him, you're like, hmm, hmm, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Anyways, so this is a book that uh, I'm reading right now. And I read many, many books at the same time, right? I read them in order. I don't really, I don't skip around. Uh, some people suggest skipping around, doesn't make a difference, but I like to uh, read them in, in, in order. It's just the way like I am, right? But I don't like kill my, I don't read one book all the way through. I'll read, let's say I start this book I'm reading and of course I know where I am and I highlight what I'm interested in and then I'll just like, okay, that's enough for today. Let's say I spent 15 minutes on this one. Boom, I just jump to another book and I start reading that from the beginning and, and so on. And then so I jump around, but I find that it helps with creativity. So I got this from uh, Ty Lopez. Ty Lopez, I'm actually a very big fan of his, and he's the one who kind of inspired all this reading and sharing uh, information that I do uh, on here on YouTube. And I know he does it already, but he's, he's on to other stuff now. He has a lot of courses and stuff like that to sell. Me, I'm starting out here, and uh, it's fun. It's kind of me practicing in front of a camera and building a community, you know? And uh, well, we'll see what happens. Anyways, uh, I don't know. I'll leave a link below to this book if you guys are interested. By the way, I always, not always, but I'm starting to prefer getting my books on Kindle, okay? Because then I don't run out of space. Like my, my place isn't that big. So, so if I buy, a, you know, like if I have like 500 books in my house, I'm kind of screwed. I don't know where to put them, right? And for now, like if one day I get a bigger house, then we'll see. I like physical books, but one of the advantages of having digital books like this is that well, you know, you could fit like uh, in a tablet like this or on your phone. I mean, you can have unlimited amount of books. Okay, so in this book, Crushing It by Gary V, um, there's this section where he's interviewing some uh, famous influencers, uh, people who use social media and did good things. And this one is Lewis Howes. And Lewis Howes from the School of Greatness, very interesting guy. Um, this is what he says in one of his in, in, in this book, right? So I'm just gonna read it to you guys, and it's he says it's not about how much you know, it's how it's about how much you care. We can create anything we want if we have the passion, the energy, the hustle, and commitment to our vision. If I had been a jerk all along the way and I didn't care about people, there's no chance I would have been able to do this. If you show up with that energy and intensity every single day good things are going to happen. So in the end, now what I gather from this is that we, today's entrepreneurship, you know, with social media and, and all that, I think it's about adding, giving value and you, you got to care about other people. And, and Gary Vee talks about this too, uh, before he let, uh, uh, you know, before we got into uh, Lewis House, you know, talking about how he he came, he, he came to be, right? And how he approaches business now is that, you know, in business, you have to be 51% uh, for yourself, not for the other people to be of service and then 49% uh, selfish, so to speak. So, you know what? The way I see it, 50-50, I think is a good ratio. And Ty Lopez talked about this too. So what it is is that, you, okay, you have to live 50% for others and then 50% for yourself. It's a pretty good ratio, you know, because I think most people live like 99% for themselves, you know, and 1% for others, so to speak, right? But if you're in business, then you're out to serve uh, a niche or a market. And so you have to be 50% for them. And then of course you have to take care of your own ass because if you don't take care of yourself, then who will, right? But if you only care about yourself, what kind of person does that make you? So that's it for this one, guys. I hope that makes sense. Uh, caring and being of service, big, big thing when it comes to business these days. I think it's always been. It's just that the people who knew about it had that philosophy. It worked better. 
and now it's just more I think more prevalent you know with the internet we we know more now okay so that's it for this video guys sorry I passed a little bit the five minute mark there but thank you very much for watching like comment share sharing is caring I'll see you guys in the next one peace and done